Hi, lock lovers. Yes, I am back again for the third time tonight. Yes, I love, love talking about locks. And I just wanted to do this lock tag. So here goes. How long have you been locked? I've been locked for almost eight years now. But I started with hair about this, like natural hair. What made me decide to lock? Well, I was struggling. I was frustrated with my natural hair. It's It was fine, yet long and kind of stringy. And, you know, I'm a big girl, so I, I don't like the way short hair looks on me. So it's like, what to do with my hair? And I'm super hairy. Hairy, hairy, <laughs> hairy. All over. So I just gave him... You know, and I, I don't like to do a lot to my hair, so I just gave in. And this was the best decision I could have made for my hair. It's so much easier to maintain than pushing my hair back in one or having it out like a big cotton candy ball all over the place. So that was the best decision. My can I To describe my lock journey in one word, I would say informative. I had to do a lot of research to get to where I am and to get my locks to look the way that I wanted to at this time. A long process with a lot of product junkiness, still a little bit of product junkiness in me, still. What was my relationship with my hair before it was locked? As I said, unfulfilling frustrating, um, super hairy, very, very hairy, but in the wrong way. Would I ever cut my hair? Um, yeah, I have cut my hair. I cut the front to try to style it. And that leads me to the next question. Was there ever a moment when I wanted to cut my locks? Yes, two years ago when I did this cut. My hair has never grown the same ever since I did it and because I'm a huge do-it-yourself fan when it comes to my hair because I'm afraid of uh, hairstylists. It never goes too well for me for long with a hairstylist so I did it myself. I should have gone to a loctician and it still hasn't grown back the way that I want but I work with what I have and I camouflage where I have to and keep it moving. Uh, what is my relationship today with my hair? As with this cut, it's a give and take. I just have to work with what I have. I mean, I know there are several things that, that I can do to fix it, but I just leave it alone. Keep it moving. It'll be okay. It, it looks somewhat okay in the front. It's, I'm okay with it. What would I want haters to know? Well, I don't necessarily have haters, just people in the professional world or just people in general who do not like locks. I would like them to know that I'm happy with it. It's not to hell with anybody, but this is my own personal choice, just like they make their own choices and I am going to live with it because they don't come home with me. I don't come home to them. Yeah. What is my favorite product that I would want others to try? Not so much a product, but a method. And that would be moisturizing, moisturizing, moisturizing to maintain your length, to maintain the health of your locks. And a good method of moisturizing besides, of course, pure water with um, the oils or butters to seal the hair. Besides that, I would use a steam treatment and no I, I don't mean a steamer a professional steamer but I, I mean a steam as in saturating your hair with water putting that uh, waterlogged towel in the microwave and putting the cap on your head I mean like a bag plastic bag on your head that type of steaming I, I can't afford a steamer if I could I would try that but a steamer is good because it, especially for mature locks, it maintains the integrity of the ends so that um, they don't break off as much and it solidifies the hair. You find that the hair is more spongy, not hard, but it, it compresses a bit more so that the lock is firmer, especially if you have thinner locks in the front like I did before I combined them. Um, so yeah, I would, I would recommend that 
uh, method of uh, moisturization. But I just wanted to come on here and do that lock tag. Yay! Love, 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 love it. Anyway, lock lovers, until next time, bye.